What did you girls make? I'm gonna go all over myself. <gasps> wow. It's a Chinese fan for Anna. A fan for Anna. Mm -hmm. All we have to do with it now is decorate it. Tell everybody how you did it. Can you follow the video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Looked it up Actually, on YouTube. They were making a very complicated one. All I did was fold it like they did and then fold up the bottom. Yeah. It was very easy. You could probably have stapled the bottom. Oh yeah, we need a stapler. <laughs> Do you have a fan? Are you fanning yourself? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh you want mommy to wear it? Okay. Mommy wear it. <laughs> okay, now fan yourself. Here's your fan. Whoops, my tiara fell off. Here's your fan. Woo! Hold on tight. Look at you. Say giddy up. Yeehaw. No. You're smiling. Is that fun? Wee! Oh, you're going to hold on to the horse's ears. Aw, good job, Chels. Good job. Yeah, here comes Alex and Anna. But I hardly want to swing like a birdie. You're going to swing like a birdie? Oh my goodness. So <laughs> really? we just you're gonna look at that. <laughs> so we just got home and we had a package in the mail and um, we knew it was coming but we didn't know what was in the package. And we just opened it up and what'd we get? Woodwick candles. Woodwick candles. So we have a letter here. It says, Hi my colleague Alex, Chelsea, and Eddie too. I watched your shopping day vlog and decided to order you guys some woodwick candles. I hope you enjoy them. I heard, I heard purple and green, so I ordered you purple and green. I hope you enjoy. So we must have said that we like the purple and green. The purple, I don't remember. purple was lavender. I forget what, what the green was. The green smells like evergreenish. No. Oh, maybe not evergreen. I forget what the green is. Ooh. It probably says on the bottom. Careful, those are glass. Daddy old. And, I've got it. and this is from our friend over at Johnny Talks Toys. And Johnny does um, toy reviews on his channel, so go check him out because he does a really good job. He is a fellow Floridian as well, so he lives huh. in Florida. And yeah, thank you so much, Johnny. How cool is that? Yeah, that's cool. Wow. That we love these. Good. And you know what? We need some good mm. smelly candles because... I was just going to buy some today. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the time of year where when it gets hot out and it gets stuffy in the house, it just kind of, it's nice to burn a candle and have it smell refreshing. Mm. And these are really good candles. She loves them. She's, what's the scent of this one? Sa I'm going to say sage. It smells like sage. Sage. It says garden ivy, so that doesn't really go. So, uh, yeah, I guess. That smells good. Yeah. So these are really great candles. They're nice. These are wooden. So what they do is when you light them. <laughs> You're getting that's... a little too far in there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> really sticking her face in there. That is a wooden wick. So when you burn it, it sounds like the crackling of like a fireplace or a, um, a fire. So it's really cool because you get the smell of the candle, but it's like having, oh, this is really good. That's my girl. Wow. <laughs> wow. But it's like having a fire lit in your house. So we recommend these. They smell really good. Thank you so much, Johnny. That was really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Go check out his channel. We've known him a long time. He's done the Lego stuff, you know, about as long as I've been doing them. The he Lego does stuff. other toys. He does blind he does bags. Stuff too now, so. Yeah. He does like blind bags and different reviews. A lot like, um, you know, the toys and stuff that we do. I think he's done some like Kinder eggs and that sort of thing too. So go check out his channel, subscribe, and yeah, tell put, him that we sent I'll you. I'll put links in the description so you guys can go just click on that and go over to his channel. Yeah, tell him. He's in our channel. Well, we, I can't remember if he's in our channel box or not. Tell him, hey, that's Mike sent ya. And thank you for the candles. That's really cool. Okay, so I have a little story to tell about Chelsea. We were oh, just great. What'd you do? We were just over at my um, <laughs> at my mom's house, and our co you know her cousins were there. <laughs> Emmy got, and something happened with Emmy, and Emmy started crying. 
Chelsea ran over, grabbed a tissue, and brought it to Emmy because she was crying. Aww. It was so okay? sweet. The baby okay? <laughs> yeah, ah, baby. Baby's okay. And then guess what she did this morning? I was sitting on the couch having breakfast. I finished my, I finished my breakfast. She grabbed my plate. She goes, I help. She grabbed my plate and she carried it into the kitchen for me. I, I helped her. She help her. She yeah. picked stuff up. Baby's okay. Baby's, baby's okay. okay. Yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> um, we have, I use the corral plates so they're not supposed to shatter if you drop them. But they can. They've been known to break still. Um, I think we've broken one before actually. But she, and then she put it up on the table. And then she clapped her hands, said yay, and went mwah. <laughs> Whole production. <laughs> it was a whole big deal. It was so cute. Oh, careful, careful. Wow. <laughs> Break it down. I would do the disco dance if I was wearing jeans. Woo, Sophia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow! I love it when she does that. Look at you. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Whoa, you're oh, gonna. She's got a are you gonna. <laughs> she's got a weapon. Got are you gonna cook and dance? It's date night. Yes, it is. We're going to Wendy's. <laughs> Michael couldn't decide between Wendy's and Arby's. But our Arby's is. Yeah, you got something to say about it? Where do you wanna go? What you watching? Yeah, is it frozen? Yeah. Um, our Arby's is inside of a gas station, so it's kind of... Gas station-y feeling? Gas station-y feeling. <laughs> like, how else do you describe it? It's like eating inside of a gas station, because that's what it is. So it's just kind of like, when we get Arby's, we like to try to take it home, I guess. Like, if we have a good coupon or something. Or if we, like, really want it, like, when the Euro comes out, all bets are off. It's like, we're going. <laughs> we don't that it's in a gas station we're getting the euro so um yeah we just didn't feel all gas stationy today so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to wendy's i like their um they have a 99 cent i think it is monterey chicken sandwich it's really good so that's what i'm gonna get and do you even know i don't know michael usually <laughs> michael loves the spicy it. chicken but then he regrets it because it it's, it's rough it's rough on your stomach yeah. But he really likes it. It's really good. It tastes good going in. It doesn't feel good coming out. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> so yep, we are off for a date night. It's time for the question of the day. Nothing. Nothing. He's, he's right there. He's no, he's awake. He's awake? Yeah. yeah. He's doesn't have it. Anyway, today's question comes from Alex Dell. And the question is, what is something you wish you had, but know you will never get? A horse. How do you know you'll never get one? Not what here. What if you... Flying? No, <laughs> what I'm saying is, what if you grow up and you have your own house and you decide to get a horse? You wouldn't even need your own house. Just, she could you could board it somewhere. somewhere. You need to well, rethink. <laughs> yours, then. I'm, you said you had one. Uh, yeah, Pretty I have one. So, what is yours? An airplane or helicopter? You could go out and buy that if you had enough money. Psh, then I, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Actually, no, she's true. You can get those you little can. planes, and that they're you not can. that bad. But if you have to like rent a hangar or rent a place to keep it, it's like ridiculously expensive, and it just seems like something I park it in the backyard. As much as I'd love to have my own airplane and be able to fly it or my own helicopter and be able to fly it, it's just not practical to well, own no, one and store you don't it. Know how to fly in the first place. <laughs> but I would learn how. Yeah, I'm going to get an airplane and then I never fly got it. those little personal prop stuff that you can like 
I guess you still need a, a pilot's license for that. Oh, but I'm sure of it. I don't know. Still something you could fly. Doesn't it cost money to go into flying school? The only thing I'm going to be flying is a kite. <laughs> I'm never going to have it. You can do school. that. Yes, I can. <laughs> I can too, so what's your Jeez. answer? I, my whole thing was, geez, I hope there's nothing that you can't that obtain want, someday. Right. Yeah. My first one was, and I kind of hope we do, would be a log home. Uh, That's always been a dream of mine. But I'll go one step further and I'll say a castle. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've no talked about. We'll ever get a castle. Yeah, we've talked about. Well, you can't say log home because we've talked about the future. Well, that's why I kind of went building a step, one. Step ahead was the <laughs> castle. Yeah, we watched the show called Castle Hunters. It was like it was, oh, that was so good. Wasn't that cool because it was just like puny little towers. Yeah. But the second episode, it was like castle, like one million dollars. Like no castle. joke, this show and. We were like, oh, we need to watch that show. It was on, like, in the middle of the day on a Sunday or something. I don't even remember. Or Saturday, like, when we normally wouldn't watch TV. And we're like, oh, we got to watch more of these episodes. It was really good. So that's what you're sticking with? Castle? Yeah. You can't say log home because we've talked about that. We're, I changed we'll, it to castle. I know, but we'll but, probably do I that someday. They, like, there's cars. I like Ferraris and Lamborghinis, but I don't really want one. I yeah. just like them. Uh, yeah. There's nothing... I bet there is some very specific things what that I is, just can't think of. What's but. that um, Mercedes, that boxy Mercedes that I like that you said is like $100,000 or something crazy? It's like a real box. It's like, it looks like a Jeep, but it's more boxy. Oh, it's an A, I don't know the type. It's the is AMG. it Mercedes? Yeah, it's the AMG, and I don't know the rest of it. Okay, there's this car that I really it's kind like. It's like a Hummerish. It's really cool. It's vehicle. by Mercedes. It looks like a Jeep slash Hummer. It's like real boxy. Land Rover, old Land and Rover. like an old Land Rover. And Michael's like, yeah, they're like over $100,000. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way I could spend that on a car. That's just ridiculous to spend that kind of money on a car. I mean, I guess if you have money to blow, but you and then it's just too much. Did you think of something else? No. <laughs> There's some toys. Oh, I would really? like the G.I. Joe ship, the aircraft carrier, but I would literally have nowhere to put that. Yeah. And that's so Hang it from the ceiling. Come by. You could still find that somewhere, right? Yeah, you could find it. It's just, it's big. Like, it's hang about it as big from, as the couch. You'd have to find, hang it from a ceiling like, somewhere. No, 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 there's nothing mm. out there that you can't have. Well, you have you, the universe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I guess we want to know from you guys, what is something you wish you had, but you know you will never get? And think hard about this one, because if you try hard enough, there's a lot of things that you can obtain. It's just a matter of working for it. So try to like really think of something that you're just like, oh, I would love to have that, but there's no way. <laughs> and leave it in the comments below.